Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, and as always, I really appreciate all the love and support. Today's video is gonna be a good one, man. All my videos are good ones, man. I, I get excited in every single video. I hope you guys do too. But, just like it says in the description, today is about prep time. You already know it. So, behind me, what do we have here? I have a new package that just came in. If you're watching this video now, most likely you might have already caught this on my Instagram channel. So on my Instagram, I announced that I got a new package coming, a new sponsorship dropping. So now I can officially announce who it is. Shout out to APR Performance. Man, that's my new sponsor. It's been so, so hard to get. First of all, a hold of these guys because they're so busy, let alone get sponsored by these guys like that. I could, I would never imagine that. If you'd have told me six years ago when I got Prime and it was a stock Camaro 2 LS at the time, there was no upgrades in it. I was the happiest guy in the world. But if you'd have told me that APR Performance was going to be one of my sponsors, I would have said, nah. But I am excited to say that yes, it's official. They are one of my newest sponsors, so I'm very grateful. Shout out to my guy Casey out there that, that worked with me. He did the measurements for me, you know what I'm saying? And we went back and forth trying to figure out, you know, trying to get it as close as possible uh, for it to fit. Kind of like, because this wing setup is the uh, GTC 300, and this actual setup with the measurements is for the 2017 to 2019 Camaro ZL1. So the brackets and everything like that, uh, they're all set up for the ZL1. But... I said I already have a wing on Prime, but and it's the factory GM uh, Transformers wing. But I wanted, you know, to go a little bit more aggressive because of the wide body, right? So I gave him the measurements. So let me show you guys what the box came in. And as you can see right here, you know, it's a, it's a pretty big box because that box, uh, you know, covers the whole wing. The wing is 67 inches wide and it's about 13 inches tall. So right now what I have set up on mine Here's my factory wing, so that way you guys can get a good look at that because, uh, you know, once I go to AZ Motor Trends today, shout out to them. That's my other sponsorship. Um, if you guys are in Arizona, California, Colorado, whatever, you know, you guys are coming down here and you guys want a good shop. They installed uh, my wide body kit. They did my custom sound system, which I will be doing uh, another video for. And now I'm excited that they're going to be installing the uh, high wing spoiler. So... Uh, what I did was I went off of the measurements that I currently have on my factory wing because uh, this one was from GM. Um, and once I once I sent them the measurements, they said, all right, took them like a couple of days or so. They got it down. They have to build it on the wing. And uh, what they do is what they build is there's a connection right here on the bottom. So that way, once you mount it, it's going to be set one area. You know, you can tell them how wide you want to come out or how close you want to stay, you know, with those in the middle. I mean, kind of like the ZR1, the ZR1, uh, where these are, they're bolted on like pretty close in the middle. I didn't want that. The ZL11 LE is a little bit wider, but I wanted a combination of both. I wanted it kind of like the ZL11 LE where it's wider, where these mount, but I wanted it really aggressive like the ZR1 uh, has now so I'm super excited you guys uh, from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let them know that I'm on my way so I'll leave the uh, links uh, for their Instagrams uh, down below um, for both uh, companies so for APR performance and for AZ motor trends so yeah man let's go straight there bro and I'm gonna start recording when we get over there too. holla you guys I didn't want to forget I wanted to go ahead and just open up the box so I could show you what it looks like uh, and what to expect inside the box um, you're gonna have your brackets right here too. I, I believe these are the side like little winglets I don't even know what you call them, but they go on the side um, of the spoiler uh, of the wing itself and then you should have I guess they're called pedestals with your brackets. They should be all in there. So with your bolts and everything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I obviously cannot fit anything in the back seat um, I got the harness bar and everything like that. So that big old box, that's not going to go in there. The trunk, that's not going to work. So I'm going to try to take this out and see if I could put it in an angle and just, you know, put it from the passenger side all the way back to the back of the driver's side. And hopefully this uh, wing fits in there. So if not, I might have to take my other car and have him follow me so that way we can take this with. But we'll make it happen. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, let's see what we got going on. And there it is. 
The nice thing is, is I have the harness bar, so shout out to Braum Racing. That harness bar gives that support on the top end, so that way this is not flexing, even though it's super light, uh, being that it's carbon fiber. But it fit perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drive it over there, take it over there, and then once we pop my wing off, this one is obviously way smaller than that is, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. And what I'm going to do is when we open that up, I'm just going to use that bubble wrap to cover that because I don't want to damage this beautiful wing. Shout out to Praxis Motorsports for the wrap. Make sure you guys check them out on Instagram. That's their page right there, Praxis Motorsports. Anyway, let's get this thing going. Welcome back. Um, I am super excited to show you guys what's right behind me right now. Straight up. If I just move to the side right now, you guys are about to trip out, dude. For real, for real. So before I move to the side, I just want to say big shout out to AZ Motor Trends. Man, they came through clutch once again. If you are in Cali, Arizona, Colorado, or whatever state you're in, you want to ship your car out to these guys. AZ Motor Trends, the link is going to be in the description down below. And huge, huge shout out uh, to my boy KC over at uh, APR Performance, man. My man came through. He sent it out quick fast delivery package properly and got it in let me just move to the side a little bit look at that ooh, 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 that is nuts bro hold up let me walk around real quick and see what we got going on oh my god look at that if that ain't a shot for you i don't know what to tell you guys bro like look at that angle right there let's see from this side I hope you guys like it. It's a mixture, like I said, I wanted of the ZL11 LE where the pedestals are further out on the trunk. And then, of course, a mixture of the ZR1 where it sits much aggressive and more higher. Being that I have the wide body kit on the car and I have a really aggressive uh, rear diffuser for the wide body, I wanted to have a wing that's gonna match it. And I think it looks absolutely amazing. I hope you guys feel the exact same way because now I can actually see more through my window because my other wing was lower so it was covering half my window, believe it or not. But, yep, that is the APR Performance GTC 300 right there for you guys, man. That is crazy, bro. Let me do a quick walk around on this side. Get it up close. I love the little dynamic right here. Now what I was told was if you ever take it to the track and you change your bolts where they are right here, bring it down, the wing will go more into a drag mode where it points down so that way when you're hitting your brakes at a fast speed, the wind will blow against it and actually slow down the car so that way you can hit your corners. But right now I got to point it up just a little bit where it just flows right with the roof right over. So, And it's full carbon fiber so it's much lighter than my original wing. Man, look at that bad boy absolutely love it yeah this side my wheels are red other side are blue if you guys are new to the channel and just notice that yeah i'm excited that looks awesome damn man beautiful that angle aren't you guys so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, man. I got more coming. Uh, you know, Prime is just about done. Prime time is just about done because we're working on Prime V2, which is a 2017 50th anniversary ZL1. And we're gonna bring this guy back and to the house and I'm gonna cover him up and we're gonna let him sit for a while once the ZL1 gets here, the V2. But for now, we're gonna go do our thing, man. I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you guys for all your love and support. My accident that I was recently in uh, back in October, we came back harder than ever, stronger than ever. And it's all because of your prayers and all your love and support and the man above. I really, really thank you guys. Man, please subscribe to my page if this is your first time. Please throw a thumbs up on it. Turn on the notification bell. Show some love and leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Man, I'm just excited, bro. Thank you so much, man. You already know how it goes, man. Look at that. Whew, I can't get over it, bro. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to smile, but you know how that is. You're like a kid in candy store. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, between time, A Dilla, Priminator, out.